Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey if anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, thank you so much. Okay, on to today's video. I have decided to do a recreation. Um, there's a lady that I follow called Francesca Ramsey. She used to have a YouTube channel years ago that I used to watch called uh, Cheska Locks and she used to do lots of like dreadlock hair tutorials. She's beautiful and funny and I just think she's incredible. I have been following her for a while. She's an actress, she is a comedian, she is an, an author, she, she wears many hats. She's also insanely beautiful. So I'm scrolling through my Instagram yesterday and I see this picture of her and I'm just like, oh my goodness. So she had locks that were, oh, you can't see my body, but she had locks that were like boob length or maybe a bit lower really really beautiful hair she turned 35 she shaved her head she looks insane i love the makeup that her makeup artist is a lady called delina medine that she did on her super simple um all bronzy gold tones and she just looks like she just looks delicious so i saw that picture yesterday and i was like oh okay I know what I'm gonna do for this video. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have my hair down today because I have the most horrific tension headache and I feel like I'm getting the flu. So I have a cup of lemon and ginger tea here to keep me going because mama is flagging today. But yes, let's get into the makeup. I'm really gonna enjoy this because I just think like bronzy gold tones always look beautiful on brown girls and well, let me just slip that right on in. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty and I love, I love the way the makeup looks on her. It just, you know, she was wearing the makeup, the makeup wasn't wearing her. And I just live by that. Like I wear makeup, wake up doesn't, wake up? <laughs> no, 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 makeup doesn't wear me. So yeah, let's get into this video. First things first. Oh, and thanks to everyone who um, watched my last video first and foremost and also replied to my question. I think I will just stick with holding up the products for you to see. So first of all, I'm gonna brush up my brows and I'm using my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I'm just brushing up Struggleina and then the good brow side. Next, I'm gonna be on to highlight. I am using my Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in the number 10 and I'm gonna do all like my highlight and stuff underneath today. So um, some people that have been watching for a while know that this is something that I do a lot. I like to put my uh, highlighter underneath my foundation so it doesn't look over the top. To be honest, this fluid sheer is so beautiful. Even if you layer it over the foundation, it still looks really nice. But sometimes you have those highlighters that are just a little bit too wow. And putting them underneath is a nicer way of wearing them. So I'm going to do that today. And then I was thinking like a lot of the time when I do my blush I end up going over it with foundation to soften it and make it look like more in the face in the face you know what I mean like more yeah like it's not sitting on top of my skin so I thought I'm just gonna do everything underneath today and see how it looks I might put a little on my chinny chin chin today so now I'm gonna do my blush I'm using this colour here to see if I can get that in short, yes. This is like a colour corrector palette that I made up myself. Um, the colours are from MAC, I can't remember what that one's called so I'm just going to tap it out and have a look for you so I can give you the name of it. Oh, it's Terracotta. It's a really red base brown and in the picture um, of Francesca that I saw, she wasn't wearing any obvious blush but I like the fact that I can use this to kind of sculpt the face and give a bit of colour and dimension, but not have it be like a blushy look. So I'm gonna pop that underneath. It's turning up very red on my face. Don't know if I want it to be that red, so I might mix it with something else. But we'll see. I'm going to put foundation over it so it might be okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Wait. Tap that out again because I've got a darker colour in here. What's this one called? Deep brown. So 
I'll show you that colour. Deep brown is this one here. It doesn't look brown at all. Well, can you just focus on this? That would be really helpful. Yes, it looks more like um, a coffee black kind of colour. I'm going to mix that with it as well. For foundation today, I'm using the Hourglass Veil foundation. I like how sheer this is. I don't really use it that often, but when I do use it, I'm like, oh, this is actually quite nice. So I'm going to use this today. I think the reason why I don't wear it as much is that it's not as yellow as my undertone. It's a little bit warmer, so it kills the yellow in my skin a bit. And I don't know if I love that it does that, but it's actually a nice foundation and it wears really lovely. So I'm just going to use it today. So I'm just using a uh, expert face brush, I think this is from Real Techniques, and just stippling it over the top. Then I'm taking my Bobbi Brown uh, Skin Foundation Stick in number nine, and just, oops, using that on my chin. <coughs> and just blending it up here as well. I'm going to use the leftovers of what's on the brush and just go over the central part of my face. I don't really put foundation on my forehead or my nose, but I thought that that highlight looked a little bit obvious without anything over it. Then I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. And let's just do away with these eye bags, shall we? I'm not sleeping very well because Amanda has got a cold. Well, he hasn't got a cold, he's just... He's always had problems breathing at night and at the moment he's going through a little bit of a difficult patch which just means that I don't sleep because I'm always up like trying to give him water or just making sure that he's comfortable and then I end up with headaches because I haven't slept for about five days. I love this concealer, I love it, I love it such a good such a good concealer okay now i am going to contour today because i feel like my face looks super puffy at the moment i don't know if it is or if it's just a mental thing but yes um i am using my bobby brown skin foundation stick i don't know why it's so messy hold on let me just click that that's gross that's better i'm using my bobby brown skin foundation stick in 10.25 which i think is espresso cool espresso close um and I'm just going to buff that in to everything else and create some cheekbones. So let's just help that. And I'm not an everyday contour kind of girl, but when my face feels really puffy, and it's usually because I'm tired, I think it just helps put some structure back into my face. Oh, this skin is, yes, so good. Okay, now for brows. I am going to do a tiny bit of like, what do they call it? Brow carving, is that what it's called? You know what I mean, when you use concealer to like, yeah, carve out your brows. But I'm going to do it in a really soft way because um, that makeup didn't have any harshness to it at all. It was all just so pretty, so going to sweep this underneath my brows just so it gives a bit more uniformity in terms of the colour but not really like it's not an Instagram brow let's just say that that's, that's what I'm thinking we all know that and also because I put the tiny bit of that fluid sheer highlight there as well I need to just soften it so it looks pretty and um, more realistic Let's just blend here again. Yeah, my eyes are so dark, it actually looks like I've got eyeshadow on. No, that is just tiredness. I'm going to blend through my crease. And just use like the scraps of foundation, of concealer, sorry, on my lid. Now we're going to get into the colour bit. Let's drink my tea again before it gets cold. Okay, so we're going to move on to the eyes. Oh, yeah, let me do that first, actually. 
still on ice but I'm just gonna take my favorite now somebody asked me I think her name is Ron she asked me um, about Swiss chocolate blusher versus Swiss chocolate shadow and I don't know if you guys follow me on my Instagram but I went into a Mac store a couple of days ago when I was out shopping and compared the two and I prefer the blush it's just softer for, for my skin tone especially it's like the perfect color for my crease it doesn't really look like I've put anything in but I'd still get that dimension and structure that you want without it looking like overly made up so lovely okay done that now I'm using Costa Riche eye pencil and I'm just drawing this all over my lid and then I'm taking a tiny little blending brush and just working away the edge like that's a look all of its own so pretty I love brown I love it it's just such a classic look if you do a makeup like this for any event in your life you can look back on it in 20 30 40 50 years and you will still be like yeah that was a good makeup choice I think that's why colors like this like never ever go out of fashion because they always look good oh yeah you can see that's the makeup so gorgeous i mean it's incredible photography and lighting but the makeup is stunning as well so the lid just looks like a soft bronze color so that's what i'm going to pick i'm going to start off with twinks i think which is this eyeshadow color here where my finger is this one here on this side because i can always make it brighter but what i don't want to do is make it too bright and then i can't like neutralize it again I'm going to just make sure that this is all blend smooth. Yeah, and then I'm going to take Twinks and pop that on. Yeah, that was a good choice. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of bronze eyeshadow, which is this colour. And just run that through the centre of the eye. Now on the picture it looks like she does have a bit of a stronger socket than I do and I don't have a darker brown like crease eyeshadow colour here right now so I'm just going to improvise like I always do. I'm going to take some of my foundation stick and let's just hope I don't mess this up. I'll just take it on a little brush and pop it just in here because it's quite high. and just give it a bit more definition in this area yeah that looks nice just a little bit stronger through the crease okay let's do brows before I forget so I'm going to go back to my benefit um, precisely my brow pencil in the color number five I use the same one pretty much in every video and just fill in my brow softly okay so I've got a black pencil from Rimmel mm. It's the waterproof Kajal, but I'll, I'll link it in the description box and I'm just going to copy the shape of liner that she has in this picture. I'm going to take a little brush here and just smoke this out because it is very smudgy. And then just to intensify that, I'm going to take some black eyeshadow, carbon eyeshadow from MAC. Any black shadow that you like will do, as long as it's matte. And I'm just going to go over that. I'm going to take some more black coal pencil. And just run that on the inside of my eye. Now I can't tell if she had this done or not, but I, I never wear black pencil without putting it inside as well. So yeah, cool. Okay, so now onto mascara. I'm happy with the eyes. That's pretty much how she had them. I have got some new extended play and I have a new in extreme dimension 3D black lash mascara. And yes, hourglass caution mascara is brilliant, but I love I love this combo so much so I'm gonna revert back to this today oh I need to bend the wand fresh tube right let's do layer number one there's nothing like new mascara it's just oh, makes me so happy okay and whilst that's setting and before we do the second layer let's move on to lip so I'm gonna use my hmm am I am I 
Now I think I'm going to start off with cork lip pencil first and just colour in the whole of my lip with this. And then do a tiny bit of Costa Riche just to kind of uh, define the edge of my lips a bit more. Because cork is pretty much the same colour as my skin. Then I'm going to take some of my Bobbi Brown lipstick in Bobbi. Just a tiny bit. Just in the middle of my lip here. And her lip looks a little glossy. So I'm just going to get my gloss. And then to finish it off, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty uh, Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. She doesn't have tons of gloss on, but there's a definite sheen to the lip. Now, this blush situation. I feel like I could probably put a tiny bit more of something there. So I'm going to just wing it. I'm going to use some of my chestnut, number nine, which is the colour that I usually put on my chin. And then I'm going to mix it. Well, let's blend that in first. Let's do that first. Yeah. And then I'm going to use a tiny bit more of that terracotta and dark brown colour corrector. Mm -hmm. That's it. Kind of sculpted, kind of blusher, but not really. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now I'm just going to take my concealer brush and just run it under my eyes and make sure that's all blended in. And then we're going in for the set. So, good old Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. You know, I use it all the time because I really love it. I'm not making a mess today. And I'm just taking a powder brush and going down the sides of my nose. Tip of my nose, under my eyes, on the chin, jawline, but leaving the cheek because we like all that glow that's there. And then on my forehead. And then the final thing is my last layer of mascara. It's my um, In Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara, which is, yeah, just the best thing. Love it. <laughs> right, and let's just um, go over these lashes. Okay. Et voila. Look, let's just, come on. Brown is always good on brown girls, always. Oh, let me see if I can make myself look more like the picture. Hold on one second. Okay, so the shoulders are out, but now I feel like I need some glowy stuff on my body. So let's just use this. Let's get my fluid sheer out again. Cause she looks really golden and I do not. So, is this the right color for my body? We're just gonna wing it guys, okay? Cause I wasn't planning on doing this bit, but you know, I've come this far. I may as well go the, go the whole hog. Skip all the bones. Okay, that's better. And I just need the sunlight to cooperate. Let me have a look at the picture again and make sure the pose I'm going to show you guys. She's so beautiful. Look at this face. She's just looking in the camera with her mouth slightly open. <laughs> this doesn't feel awkward at all. So let me see. She's got less body on show. So let's just turn more this way. And the head, I think, is like this. Right, let's get the shoulder neck out because she's got no hair, but I'm not cutting my hair off in this video. Okay. Maybe, maybe hair off the face a little bit more. So 
So there you have it guys, this is my interpretation of Francesca Lee's uh, 35th birthday makeup. I think she is gorgeous, I thought the makeup was gorgeous, so much so that I felt inspired to do my own recreation of it today. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT, so I will leave my Instagram handle for you here, and if you fancy, come along. Um, that's all I have to say. Thank you so, so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.